Matthew Cohn and his four-legged friend are flying to Chicago. This is Jeremy Bentham, my uh, best friend and constant companion. He and Jeremy booked last minute, so they have a few stops to make along the way. It is somewhat out of the way. I use skip lag, so I've got a bunch of kind of out of the way stops, but it was super cheap. So, and I'm a student, so I like super cheap. The lines were very, very, very <laughs> long. Kim Ford flew in from Atlanta. They had the dogs out um, going through security, so we didn't have to take our shoes off and all that because the dogs took care of that. She hasn't had any major issues except for this. When I picked it up from baggage claim here, it was in shambles, it was in pieces. So I'm like, okay, great, now I gotta get a new suitcase. Airport officials say arrive at least two hours before your departure. Have your ID and ticket in hand and follow the new protocols. TSA is now requiring everybody to, uh, if your, your phone or anything bigger than the size of a cell phone or electronic device has to come out of your bag, um, just like the laptop. So, you know, just be prepared for some changes. And for those not traveling by air. Uh, definitely a lot more people on the road. How much money on gas do you spend in this Thanksgiving? Uh, well, about 30 bucks a tank, and um, I've filled up probably twice as much just in the past weeks. According to TripAdvisor, 49% of drivers will stay closer to home and drive up to 50 miles this year. And however you plan on getting to your destination, many here say the best item to pack, patience. Something Matthew and Jeremy have plenty of. We're gonna do the best we can. So I'm told as many as 20,000 people are departing from the airport today. Reporting live in Kenner, I'm Aubrey Killian, WDSU News.